right, we have another exciting matchup here. TABC, like I, we've been talking about six matches in, they're still looking for their first champion. They've gone over five so far, which is, you know, even though it looks like they're going to win the tournament, that, that'd be a hard pill to swallow if they can't win any matches in the finals. Right now we have John Dubin, a returning finalist, last year second at 182, cut down this year to 170, versus Jakob Kurlancic, who last year was fifth at 182 and is also cut down to 170, and looks hyped and pumped and ready to go. John Dubin right off the mat, right off the bat, working the head of Kurlancic. Dubin, a senior at 170, took second last year again. Uh, his coach says he's a very funky wrestler, makes him hard to coach, but at the same time, he does the, he does he does his stuff and it works most of the time. Wow, wow, interesting exchange. Dubin thought he had the whip over there, but Kurlancic's elbow was in tight. Now we have a single leg attempt, single leg attack. Whoa, it's like a deep out of bounds by Dubin. I think Dubin did a good job of protecting Kurlancic from running right into the bleachers. Yeah, uh, Kurlancic, it's also interesting to talk about that with that, with that, with that exchange we just saw. There. He actually is a, a, a judo wrestling uh, background, not just wrestling, but judo as well. So uh, he's improved a lot on top, but from neutral, he's always been great. So uh, maybe we're going to see some interesting takedowns as the match goes on. It's been a physical match so far. Both wrestlers working their ties, working the wrists. This is MTA's first of two wrestlers in the finals. Carlanza keeps on trying to pub himself up. Uh, Brian Oster telling the MTA uh, fans, as much as we love your support, you got to back up a little bit, so there are no issues. And we're back underway with a minute 22 left in the first period. Super physical match. Dubin working now, that front headlock trying to dig in on the left side, and they go out of bounds. Lots of movement from these guys, lots of, lots of pulling on the head. And it's, it's moving by both of them. Both of them are taking shots. Both of them are forcing the other out of bounds. Uh, Kralanza keeps on hyping himself up with that little jump there, slapping the knee pads. Hope he doesn't, hopefully he doesn't tire himself out in the process as well. I think he'll be okay. We got Dubin trying to work that head, digging on the left side. Kralancic trying to clear the wrists, trying to find an opening. Attack by Dubin, low single. Switches off to a double. Elevates. Brings Kurlancic down to the mat, two point takedown. Quick hard cross face by Dubin. We see him riding tough here, he wants to throw in a leg. Trying to throw in a boot. Kurlancic should try to, try to free his leg there. He doesn't want to end up underneath. And we're starting to see why the coaches say Dubin is such a funky wrestler. But Kurlancic able to get up one point escape with 30 seconds left in the period. Wrestling on the edge here. Kurlancic attacks now, and they go out of bounds. 22 seconds remaining in the first period. Yeah, really exciting exchanges so far. I'm liking the, the energy in this match. Um, Dubin already has his hands on his hip, though, and Kurlancic keeps on jumping up and down, so we might want to look toward stamina as a, as a storyline going forward. We'll see how that plays out. Maybe slapping the knee pads is trying to send him a message. Lots of good fighting. Dubin looked for a two-on-one. They go out of bounds. Another attack by Kurlancic on the edge. Yeah, didn't really set up his shot so much there, but he saw an opportunity to take a shot. And he, he, if it wasn't out of bounds, he might have gotten the two points. And oh, over the years, I spent a lot of time in the MTA wrestling room under the uh, coaching staff of Coach Carlos, among some other coaches. And he always emphasizes wrestling on the edge and taking shots on the edge. He has this, uh, this uh, drill he has where I score or no one scores, where you take a shot on the edge. Either you get to take down or they both get out of bounds. And I think we saw a little bit of that from Kurlancic, who's wrestling hard on the edge, taking shots on the edge. And let's see if he's able to score with that. Kurlancic chooses down. He'll try to tie this matchup with an escape or take the lead with two. And I got to say, of the two wrestlers, uh, Dubin might have the lead, but Kurlancic is showing a lot of energy. Absolutely. He's trying to fire himself up, trying to make something happen. But Dubin riding tough here. At the end of the day, though, energy won't win you a match. It's the points on the scoreboard that will. And so he keep doing what he's doing. He's doing it again, but he's got to escape here, do something, get some points. Dubin looked a little bit, uh, a little bit frustrated with the almost with the with with that whole maneuver. Well, Dubin seemed to be in control so far, but it's only a two to one match, so it's really totally up in the air. Plenty of time left, and and Kurlancic up to his feet. He wants an escape. Dubin looking for a lift, and Matt return out of bounds. We've seen a lot of out of bounds calls this match. Yeah, a lot. Of that was almost like he almost had a ball and chain there, but Kurlancic got up, and then uh, so Dubin was able to take him back down. But it's we're only a minute, we're only two minutes twenty seconds into this match, but it's taking a while because it seems like every ten seconds there's a stoppage in action as they they're going out of bounds. Yeah, and that's just a sign of the, the amount of motion that we're seeing from both these guys. 
Um, as long as no one's fleeing the mat, the ref won't, won't penalize. We've got a half Nelson here by Dubin. He's got to get per perpendicular if he's yeah. going to score with that. But oh. Kurlantic has that leg trap, but he's in a little bit of danger here as Dubin seems to be muscling him over. No, nothing. Uh, he loses the half. Right. Now we have Kurlantic back trying to build up his base underneath Dubin. He's Ooh, that was that was interesting there. Kurlantic, at, at first, he was pounding his back, but it seemed almost like he was calling off like he needed time. And so I think Dubin let go, but... Uh, and didn't get any points, but now he might. Nope, it's still not enough there. He Dubin still hasn't crossed the plane. Dubin is riding tough. Dubin uh, likes to throw in that leg and, and uh, come across the body, but that's one point escape. And just like that, what do you know? 2-2, two, two, 50 seconds left in the second period. This is anyone's match. Yeah, gr great job by Kurlancic so far. And also, like he, he, there was such a deep half earlier in the period by Dubin. It looked like he was for sure going to take him over, but Kurlancic was able to grab on with his legs to Dubin's legs so that he, wasn't, he had to stay parallel and stay out of trouble there, and that's why we have a tied game game still at 2-2. Two two. Absolutely. Dubin has looked tough. Dubin has looked very physical, but Kurlancic shows that he is here to wrestle. He takes an attack. He takes a shot. And a re-shot counter attack. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Dubin rolls them both out of bounds. This has been a very physical match. And since they went out of bounds, I can bet you we're going to see a little uh, jump knee pad slap here, as is the tradition with the, re with the ref. Telling them to hurry up. And one, two, three. There it is. Okay. Now we can wrestle again. Interest 23 seconds left in the second period. It's, a, it's an interesting uh, min hug there. I've never seen anything quite like it. Head to head, both these wrestlers trying to create something out of bounds, they go. And we were just saved by the referee from a very unfortunate end to our broadcast. So, uh, as usual, we have to thank the officiating crew for all the hard work they do and also for saving our skin. And again, the knee slap which I was just told by our producer, Benny Statman, is called the Rockstar in the P90X workout. Five seconds left in the match, two to two, and we are going to the third period with a tie match. Kalancic, very impressive so far, only a junior. Uh, just tied, tied it up with uh, Dubin, who looks a little, a little, a little tired. Uh, and TBC, the coaching staff there, they're, they're begging for a finals victory. 0 for 6 so, so far. And they know that how great it will be to have Kurlancic be the first. 0 for 5 so far, and Kurlancic's the sixth. Wow. And Quick sit-out turn in uh, by Dubin. Puts, puts Kurlancic straight to his back. Uh, Kalancic's in a lot of trouble right now, but he rolls through. Unbelievable show of heart. And he spins behind. And that should make the score 4-4 four, four, or 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four, because Dubin got some back points yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Dubin got two back points along the way. You could tell right away from the whistle, Dubin knew what move he was doing. He was doing the the, the, the turn in, putting Kalancic right onto his back. But Kalancic, with a great, didn't panic, even though he was getting the points for near fall. And now he's on top again. Ooh, and Dubin was looking to hip over. He gets the reversal. And an escape, quick escape by Kurlancic makes that eight to five. Three point match here. And again, we haven't really seen, no one's ever been able to get much success. Shot on neutral. the edge by Kurlancic. You know he's going for that every time. Yeah, a quick whistle there by the ref. Again, they're being a little, with all the out of bounds going on. Uh, Coach Carlos is telling Kurlancic to stay low. Uh, and uh, Kurlancic is going to slap his knee pads. And uh, then he'll try to do so. Dubin a little bit slow to return. Looks a little bit winded. There it is. Okay. 14 left, three-point match. Kurlancic needs to make something happen. Down the yeah, again, down by three. A takedown doesn't cut it here. You got to get some. You got to get a little more than that. Uh, Dubin looked whip over for a second, digging in the left side. He takes a deep shot, single leg, trying to suck it in. But Kurlancic keeps good hip position, feeds some hips. He's got to freeze leg and spin behind. If he's able to do it, we'll have a one-point match. I don't believe it. Eight yep. to seven. That was, a, that was a very, very deep takedown, a very deep shot by Dubin, but he wasn't able to finish it. Now he's only up by one. And it's an interesting strategic question right here because Kurlancic has to turn him or cut him because he's got 36 seconds left and he needs to score. If he lets him go, it's going to be a two-point match. It'll be 9-7, but right now he's riding. He's trying to go for a turn. And if they go out of bounds, I think Coach Carlson told him to call him. There's only 25 seconds left. He's and running out of time. He's running out of time. Let's see what they tell him. Coach Carlos says to cut him. Exactly. There we go. It's about to be 9-7 in favor of John Dubin. And Kurlancic needs a takedown to take this match into overtime. 22 seconds remain. Can, and the question is, can Dubin hold on? Can Dubin hold on with two point, a two-point lead here? A two-point lead here with 22 seconds left to get his first Winberg championship. Again, came, he's, he's come close. He came in second last year. 
Kralancic uh, pumping himself up. He's got to bring the heat right now, pushing him out of bounds. And the ref, then, surprised then, there then, wasn't a stall call yeah, there. That, it, it, that was, uh, only took four seconds to get him out of bounds. Dubin looks tired. If that happens again, the stall call is not going to take so Oh, quick attack, attack attempt by Kurlansky. Counter offense by Dubin. Kurlansky recovers. He's trying to attack again. Lots of action here. Ten seconds remaining. Both these guys look tired. Oh, we, we almost saw... Uh, uh, Oh, what's it called? Doesn't matter. Four, uh, 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 <laughs> Lots of action. Four seconds remaining. Four in the seconds third. left. Not a lot of time left for Kalancic, but. With all the energy he's shown so far, he's not going to give Showing up until that lots final of whistle. Heart Dubin, Dubin looks like he's about to collapse, but he's got to make so sure he doesn't get taken down in the final seconds. Sorry, Kurlancic. Kurlancic, excuse me. Another attack. One second remain. That's the match. Dubin pulls off the victory. Hard what fought. A match. Helps Hard out. fought. You match. like to see that sportship at the end helping up Kurlancic. He uh, he looks more. A lot of times you see people they pump their fists. He looked relieved after winning that one because Dubin because Kurlancic gave him everything he had. I think we'll see more of Kurlancic in the future and then hopefully the knee slap as well and TABC with their sixth finalist finally comes through with the victory